Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are going to be talking about the zodiac sign cancer and if you guys know me then you know I am a cancer so this is an extra special video. I'm also going to be partnering with Dolls Kill to show you the horoscopes collection for this season and my favorite picks from the cancer collection, which is a super bomb collection, by the way. I was very impressed being a cancer myself. I loved all the pieces, so I picked out my favorite ones for a little trial for you guys today. On top of that, we're going to be talking all about cancer, the feeler of the zodiac. So we're going to be talking about all the familiar traits to cancer, the signs that is ruled by the moon. So stay tuned, we've got lots of good stuff coming in this video. On top of that, we're gonna finish off with a card reading to help align yourself with the Cancer Zodiac. So without further ado, let's get started. The Cancer Zodiac sign is if you are born from June 21st to July 22nd. Cancer is considered the feeler of the zodiac. The ruling planet for Cancer is the moon, which rules emotion. The symbol, as I'm sure you've seen before, is the crab. Main descriptors for Cancer are sensitive, as well as moody, and I can attest to this for sure. The duality of Cancer is considered a feminine sign. The element belongs to water, of course, and the key word for Cancer is I feel. The color that represents Cancer is silver, the color of the moon, and crystals for Cancer include moonstone, silver, and pearl. Cancer attributes at a glance are nurturing, moody, maternal, empathetic, family-oriented, and clinging. The drive for Cancer is to nurture. People with their sun in Cancer tend to be very sensitive. The Cancer journey is all about mastering emotional sensitivity. The most sensitive and emotional of all the signs, Cancer the Crab is a feeler and a psychic. When she enters a room, she can feel what everyone else is feeling. Easily overwhelmed, she retreats into her shell, pulling out her pincers and unleashing her powerful moods. The journey for Sun in Cancer is to learn how to protect her sensitivity. Cancer must develop tremendous self-awareness. Then, when her feelings consume her, she can recognize them and gently return to her center. As she masters this work, she accomplishes important work for all of us feeling the depths of human existence, relinquishing barriers between ourselves and others, and demonstrating a continual return to love, acceptance, and trust. Cancer Gifts Cancer is wonderfully imaginative and perceptive, frequently turning inward to her rich, magical world of daydream. She is a wonderful hostess who loves to invite friends to her house to nurture them in her favorite manner, cooking and caretaking. She creates a sense of hospitality and safety that envelops her guests like a warm bath. Cancerians can dive into your emotions, feel them with you, and cuddle and love you no matter your state of mind. In this way, Cancers are devotional. They love their friends and family deeply and naturally, extending maternal kindness and support without hesitation. Possessing inherent strength, she can accomplish much in the world by allowing her intuition, heart, and apt perception to guide her. This is Cancer at her best. Guard down, surrendering herself to gravity and chance, fearlessly exposing her eternal love for all humans. Cancer struggles. To be a balanced Cancer, the crab must be willing to come out of her shell, releasing the security of her tough exterior and reveal her soft, nurturing essence. She must learn to feel the cruelty of the human heart while remaining open, loving all aspects of humanity, beginning with herself. If Cancer does not feel safe, she can become hardened, even engaging in her own acts of cruelty because she has closed her heart, hiding behind her shell and pincers. 
if loving and supportive people are not surrounding her, she could take on the savagery of others losing the courage to be vulnerable. It is vital for Cancer to master human emotion, both her own and others. She must learn how to physically protect herself so she can walk into the world with her innate sensitivity while remaining kind and genuine. If she does, she becomes the world's mother, ever compassionate, loving, and forgiving of all human atrocities. She can understand people like no other, seeing to their core with x-ray vision. If she chooses to reveal herself rather than hiding behind her masks, she can become the ultimate symbol of universal love and compassion. This is Cancer's true nature. All right, guys. I hope you have enjoyed learning about cancer energy so far and as promised we're going to do a little card reading so the question i want you to keep in your mind is what energy will allow me to understand my emotions on a deeper level so hold that in your mind and take a nice deep breath in and release Now, listening to your intuition, meaning your gut feeling, you're going to choose one of these three cards. So card number one, card number two, and card number three is here. Now I want you to just think again, whatever one comes to you first, don't question it, don't think that it's the wrong card, just whatever one naturally pops up for you. All right, let's start with card number one. We have freedom, spread your wings. Such a beautiful card. And this here is a meaning card. As you can see, it has the moons on the card here. Beautiful reflective. So let's talk a little bit about what this card means. So maybe you, you need a little bit more freedom to understand your emotions. Maybe you're not allowing yourself to feel into your emotions. You are free. Feel and embrace your own freedom. Freedom to feel, do, say. Freedom to be who you want to be. Freedom to achieve what you desire. You may feel trapped by your life's conditions. Know that the outside circumstances don't have to affect your inner boundless freedom. Do you really have to do the things you say you have to do? If they make you feel resistant and do not serve you in any way, are you able to say no to them and yes to freedom? This card is a reality check. You are in fact free to do what you desire. And in this instance, to feel what you desire. You have freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of choice. What are you doing with your freedom? Pay attention to how you use it. Such a beautiful message from this card here. And let's move on to number two. Again, with the question in mind, what energy will allow me to understand my emotions on a deeper level? So card number two, we have create nurture your creative energy so beautiful and such a great way to tap into our emotions for sure so let's talk a little bit more about this this is an action card represented by the suns on this one and just to kind of dive deeper into the cards meaning this card features hands in the process of creation this is a little push from the universe to embrace your creativity and tap into your intuitive creative flow. Inspiration is here, you just have to let it in. Open your, yourself to ideas and allow your hands to do the work. Use your body to turn your thoughts and imagination into physical, tangible creations. Lose yourself in a meditative, creative flow and see what happens. Allow yourself to become completely immersed and fully present with your creation. 
Notice how beautiful that feels. Instead of being attached to the outcome, appreciate the process of creation itself. Amazing. So maybe you need to do a little bit more creative expression in your life in order to tap into your emotions and connect to them. Such a great way to do so. And on to our last and final card, we have number three, fire. Transformation, rebirth, and renewal. Again, we have another moon card here, which has meaning to it. So we have the card fire in connection to your emotions and how to connect with them deeper. Fire symbolizes rebirth, purification, and transformation. Creation and destruction, life and death, protection and loss. Fire can make you warm, but get too close and it burns you. In native cultures, fire was thought to be a gift from the creator that carried the power of renewal. Fire can maintain life and destroy life. This card is a sign to burn off the old and allow new to enter. You are going through a powerful transformative period in your life that has several meanings. From one perspective, it is the most beautiful time. From another, it is terrifying. You are changing, parts of you are dying so that you can emerge again like a phoenix. What matters is what you choose to feel about it and view it. Are you ready for your transformation? Wow, so transformation is a huge theme with this one. Rebirth and renewal, all this has to do with connecting to your emotions on a deeper level. So I hope you enjoyed this card reading and that you received a divine message, whatever that was. Again, with card readings, whatever pops up in your mind, whatever you feel into when this happens, when you see your card and when you learn more about the meaning behind it, intuitively read into that response. Don't question it. Receive the message and allow yourself to resonate with that and think about that over the next few days. So thank you for tuning in to this little card reading and I hope you received the message that you were looking for. All right, guys, that concludes today's video. I wanna hear from you guys. Did you enjoy this little description on cancer? What was your card for the card reading as well? Did it resonate with you? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel as well and hit the like button. Thank you so much, Dolls Kill, again, for sending me the products for the video. I've linked all the products and sizing in the comments section, so that way you guys can shop the collection if you'd like to. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care, bye.